Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Saviak from Vallejo Pharma. How are you today? Very good, Tracy. It's nice to be back on Investor Channel. You've had so much news this week. Let's, let's start with the big one, the money. $40 million in non-dilutive financing from Sagard Healthcare, Healthcare Partners. Let's start there. Give us an update on this, please. So we signed and concluded a transaction with Sigard uh, on Friday afternoon. Sigard is a major life science fund in Canada, very knowledgeable. Um, the, the financing is for a total of US dollars, 40 million, of which we've drawn down 30 million. And that 30 million is uh, earmarked to support the acquisition of uh, several products, which we'll talk about later, uh, as well as for working capital. There's a further 10 million to bring it up to 40, which is on the uh, table for future acquisitions. So clearly this is a, a financing that helps us now, but also helps us in the future. And of course the additional 10 million, I noticed the timeline was December, 2023. So they have quite a clip happening for you to achieve these milestones. Yeah, we, uh, we, you know, we're very active on the business development front. Uh, the fact that we open up this new therapeutic area with uh, one of our acquisitions in ophthalmology. Uh, there's a lot going on in ophthalmology that excites us. The two products that we licensed in that we'll talk about later, but also others that potentially could be in the pipeline. Um, it's a it's a very interesting uh, dynamic right now in the pharma space. There's a lot of divestiture going on by the major companies, the multinationals, and that, that bodes well for companies such as Valio. And of course, I think during allergy season, this is timely, but can you tell me why they selected Vallejo for this $40 million uh, financing? I'm assuming your infrastructure is in place. You've been building quite a sales team here over the last year. I think we, we're, we, we've we got a, a fairly uh, unique or certainly rare uh, positioning in Canada uh, as a Canadian-centric pharmaceutical company. Uh, our asthma assets that uh, we've talked about in the prior uh, visits, uh, uh, Enerzer and Atectura, are doing very well. And that certainly caught their attention as these assets will grow in revenues to what we estimate to be well over $100 million. Uh, in addition, Sigard was very familiar with the, or at least had some familiarity with the, the products that we were seeking to acquire in this round. Uh, and I think they, they liked those products. They saw the synergistic fit with Valio. So I think it's a lot of things that came together. We're saying it's just the right place, the right time. Uh, with the right products and again a partner that we couldn't be happier to to, uh, to welcome on board and for those of you unfamiliar with Sagard healthcare perhaps they know a little bit more about you steve because of your professional experience or did you just meet them during your time at vallejo uh, no it was uh it was actually through a an intermediary that we were introduced to to Sagard. Uh, we were looking for a partner financial partner to support our growth um, and they came up to the top of the list. We got on very well with them. I believe they they thought highly of our management team. They like our existing products, particularly our two asthma therapies that have tremendous potential. Uh, and then they had some familiarity with the products we were going to acquire uh, through these transactions. And uh, I think that it all came together as uh, the right place, the right time with the right products. And of course, you put two other news releases out the same day. Um, how are they tied into this financing? Well, the three are are three parts of the puzzle. Um, the Sagard money was there to fund these two new uh, press releases to fund the assets we acquired under them. And the assets we acquired uh, needed financing. They needed financing for upfront milestone payments for working capital build, which is quite significant. Uh, so it was just, a, it was the, the hand fitting the glove. It's the three came together as one. So the financing happened, and then you announced your license agreement with Kaleo for the Canadian rights to Allergic. Is that correct? That's correct. So Kaleo is a U.S.-based company. Allergic is a very innovative, and I'll uh, actually can actually show it to you here. So it's rare that you can actually show something that viewers can see. So this is what Allergic looks like. So it's an epinephrine injector for those people that suffer from severe allergies where they need to inject themselves um, should they take whatever it be, peanuts or shellfish or what have you. Uh, the, the existing product on the market that uh, really has a majority of the market share is EpiPen. This product uh, has been launched in the U.S. doing very well there, had been launched in Canada and we're relaunching it. Sales were 4 million last year. We expect sales to grow to about 25 million. Innovative, 
speaks to you, very small and very safe. So of course, for all of you out there with allergies, in addition to the epinephrine auto injectors, you also made an agreement with an ophthalmic product uh, for, uh, for eyes, dry eyes, basically. Is that correct? So this is a, a licensing agreement we entered into with Novartis. So this is our second major agreement with Novartis. As you can recall, our first was for the two asthma therapies. Um, two products, Zydra, which is a prescription dry eye medication, and Simbrinza, which is a, a prescription uh, solution for uh, glaucoma, which is uh, high blood pressure in the, uh, in the eye. Both interesting products, both patented, um, both work well together in terms of being promoted to physicians together. Very, very lo a lot of synergies with these two products together. Very excited, and it sets us up in a new therapeutic area, ophthalmology, which we believe with these two products, we've had combined sales last year of approximately 24 million. So that's gonna a significant bump to our top line, but also with the potential to grow significantly um, and also attract other ophthalmology assets over time. Lots of good news here. We know you're intensely busy. I'm not even gonna ask you what's gonna happen next. All I wanna say is congratulations on the significant news. And is there anything else you'd like to add that you would like to point out to people about all of this news, that significant news that has just come out here in the last week? Well, our, I would say the financing uh, secures us going forward in a non-dilutive way. That's very important. I think a lot of people wanted to, to know that where would we get the money to, to grow the business? As you can see, we the Cigar uh, Financing provides that. The three products we just announced more than double our current revenue run rate. So we're becoming a pretty significant player now in Canada, which was our aspirations. And I could just see that growth continuing. All of our major products, we have a total pro uh, product count now of 11, but six of which I would say are our are, are major marketed brands all have revenue growth potential. So very exciting times for Valio and uh, for our shareholders also. Steve, as always, thank you for joining us. And we look forward to getting this out to the Investor Intel audience as quickly as possible. And for more information, go to Vallejo Pharma's website. Thank you, Steve. Thanks very much, Tracy.